Whether you love or hate coffee pots or capsules, there is no doubt that this brewing method is rising in popularity even in the specialty coffee world. There is a machine designed with specialty coffee in mind called Morning Coffee Machine. And in this video, we'll make an in-depth review and taste comparison. This video is sponsored by Double Shot, a Prague-based specialty coffee roastery. Before we start, just a short disclaimer. We received this morning machine as a test unit for free from the manufacturer in summer 2021. We have been using it in our studio to taste different kinds of specialty coffee capsules on the market ever since. But we are not paid to make this video from the manufacturer. Before we brew the first cup, let's look at the machine. When we saw it for the first time, we were quite impressed. It's solid, robust and frankly quite beautiful. It's definitely a bigger piece of equipment than our previous simple model of Nespresso machine that we'll be using as a reference later in this video. This is satin black model that we picked to fit our other equipment in the studio. The other standard color option is silver white. Now let's look at the parts. There is a water tank with a lid for 850 milliliters of water. There's a capsule slot with a lever. There's a scale drip tray and drip tray cover, and also there is a silicone tray for scale. Used capsule container for 8 to 10 capsules with a drip base below the container. Dial control and OLED screen, which we will show you later when making coffee. When you plug it in, it's perhaps our favorite part. Good morning. <laughs> now you can control all the actions by this dial and two buttons one which is more return and one confirm okay i like to start any brewing with purging for two reasons one is that it actually helps to heat up the machine and second it cleans all the remaining parts that are inside of the machine so two reasons what is quite interesting here as you see the machine recognized that I uh, take out the, the cap. It was quite surprising when we start working with the machine, but obviously it's for the reason that there is a scale. But when you get used to it, it's quite handy because you can actually immediately stop brewing by just taking out the cap. Another thing that I didn't know until quite recently is that in this spout, beside the obvious spout that takes you coffee into the cup, there is also a chance to do a water bypass, which means that you get a clean water, just heat it up to the desired temperature and you do it by pressing the confirm button for a little longer and here you can choose the amount of water you want into the cup and also the temperature and you also saw that there is another thing there is a LED light that helps you to see inside the cup and perhaps take some beautiful photos or images <laughs> Three things that stand out when you experience brewing with morning machine. You can set up a brewing temperature from 85 to 98 degrees Celsius. Thanks to the inbuilt scales, recipes are defined by the yield in grams. The range is 20 grams to 200 grams. And pressure profiling. You can pick from one to seven bars of pressure in different stages of brewing, which helps to modify the taste of the resulting cup, often lower pressure at the beginning and towards the end of the brewing cycle. When brewing this funky capsule from Double Shot, you need to shake it first before using. I will open the lever and insert the specialty coffee capsule that we have here. And the next step is choosing the, the profile. So morning coffee machine comes with a 10 predefined profile that kind of covers you all from short espresso kind of drink to long more more lungo or even more like filter kind of coffee and also the supplier of the specialty coffee capsule usually recommend what kind of brewing and dosing they they recommend so this one should be more uh, espresso like and i will choose the morning bloom and brew recipe which is kind of signature for for the company and should give more strong and kind of bold cup of coffee rich Ready? Let's give it a try. Now it's heating up to the desired temperature of 90 degrees Celsius. The thing is that you need to be 
Ah, you see, place the cup. It recognizes I move it and I need to move it a little bit further because if you try to put it in the center position, it might be a little tricky and you might lose some coffee in the tray. So I confirm, we are ready. Now it's blooming for 20 seconds, which is quite long bloom. I think it's the longest from the recipes I tried. Apparently it's applying really rather low pressure. So it's, it's slowly dripping, trying to reach the desired weight of 25 grams. And now we are ready. We should enjoy it. And what I quite like is also that it prompts people to do certain actions. And just after we brewed, it prompted us to actually open the lever. So the coffee capsule is not stuck there for too long, resulting in eventually even damaging the machine. To unlock all the possibilities of the morning coffee machine, we need to connect it to its mobile app. The main reason is to upload the custom recipes developed by the coffee roaster. In my mind, it's the closest way of reaching the taste of coffee that roastery had in mind. Of course, besides visiting their own coffee shop. Good thing for me is that it's difficult to screw up. It just requires pressing the button. The first thing is to connect the machine to the mobile phone. You need to enter machine setting by holding down both back and confirm buttons. You enter setting page, then toggle the dial to set up Wi-Fi, and then you move to the app where you finish the setting. The second thing is to upload the roasted recipe. There are 10 recipe slots in the machine's memory. These you can use without the need of the mobile app. To add or change more custom or roaster recipes, you need to remove some first, then upload the new one. We did that for all three capsules we'll be tasting today. Before we make taste comparison, we want to tell you about the sponsors of this video, Double Shot Coffee Roasters. They supply capsules we are using in this video. It's a Prague-based specialty coffee roastery with multiple cafes. Its founder, Yara Tuček, was a person that got me hooked on specialty coffee back in 2012 during the coffee brewing workshop in Brno. Quite recently, they released a line of specialty coffee capsules. Funky, that is juicy, fruity and playful. Right now, it features naturally processed coffee from Panama Finca Emporium. Start which is sweet, rich and full body coffee that features a blend of Guatemala Hunapu and Brazil Bobolink. And decaf, that is well without caffeine yet tasty, featuring Colombia La Serrania decaf. The team at Double Shot was quite thoughtful about putting their coffee into capsules and only when they tried to brew with the morning coffee machine, they changed their mind. They realized this machine is capable of extracting really tasty coffee and that is why they also started to distribute it in the Czech Republic. Now, let's get to the exciting stuff. The machine looks nice and works really well, but how better tasting cup does it brew when compared to a regular machine? In other words, is it worth paying a premium? We will brew all double shot capsules on the morning machine using the roaster recipes and at the same time we'll brew it with the basic Nespresso machine Essenza Model Mini. We adjusted the dose so the output is similar for both machines. We asked our coffee tasting expert Tomo to do this tasting blind and share his opinion. Let's taste these espressos. There is nice acidity in the coffee which is quite surprising. Okay, for me there is uh, quite a big difference. I have no idea which espresso is from which machine, but this cup has uh, more creamy body, more texture. It's more dense, uh, round, sweet, and has very pleasant balance of acidity and sweetness. This one uh, is more duller. It has very light body, it's watery. It feels a little bit like uh, it's hard to describe, but it's something like Lungo with some kind of channeling maybe. Also, there is a higher acidity and the sweetness is lower. I think it's even a little bit less complex, like it doesn't have so much flavors, which is why I think there might be some channeling going on in this one. So, quality wise, this is the winner for me. Reveal. It's green uh, color. <laughs> what does it mean? It's the good morning? 
Yeah. Yeah. Definitely different camp of coffee, like the extraction is better, it's richer, it's sweeter, it's more complex. Like the, the difference is quite huge. Okay, let's try another capsule. Another yeah. Coffee? Okay, okay, let's go. So the second espresso will be a start capsule from Double Shot, which should be more like a standard kind of coffee. Again, the difference is quite big, but this time I have maybe a little bit uh, biased opinion. Like I can feel that this cup is much more smoother and has much more round body again. It has nice sweetness, it's very pleasant in the mouth. This one is a thinner body. Again, it feels like when you have a channeling in the coffee, like it's a little bit sour, it's also a little bit bitter, and it's watery. So, like I think that uh, this cap is better, it has a higher quality of extraction, the flavors are more transparent, the texture is much, much better. So I would say this is the morning and I would say this is uh, the other capsule machine. It's uh, no sticker, yeah. And this one is the sticker, so it's morning. Okay, so we have a third coffee, which is decaf, right? It's quite fruity decaf. It had a subtle acidity. I think here the difference is least apparent from these three that we tasted. This is a more acidic cup. It's very fruity. It's like a, almost like a lemony flavor with a bit of like malt. Hmm. This one has a little bit lower acidity and uh, maybe it doesn't have such good texture, but it's hard because also the decaf coffees are a bit duller in flavors by, by the process of uh, decaffeination. So both of them are quite light bodied, qu quite like uh, watery, very like soft espressos. And this one has a higher acidity and let me try one more time. This one has definitely more flavor, so I'll go for this one. Uh, it's morning. But uh, this is this was quite close, like it was harder. But there was a difference on the other hand. Okay, after dedicating some more time to play with morning machine and tasting various specialty coffee capsules from well-known coffee roasters, we are quite positive. The machine is well built, looks beautiful and offers advanced technology that is way above the standard on the market. Most importantly, coffee we brew in the morning simply tastes better. It's fairly addictive to brew a tasty cup by simply pressing a button. Even if I love coffee brewing ritual, it's complex and there are moments when I want to make a shortcut. Many times it's by visiting a specialty coffee shop, but having this machine available simply adds another option for me. Let's summarize the key observations about the machine. Let's start with the obvious, the price. It's definitely premium. Price around 400 US dollars, depending on the country, is three to four times more expensive than a simple models of Nespresso capsules machine. When compared to premium in other categories though, like home espresso machines, scales or brewing kettles, the premium doesn't seem too high for all advanced features. The machine seems to be well built from quality materials, but it's still a relatively new product. We try to investigate any major issues on the internet and from the distributors, but morning keeps brewing, which is great. A frustrating part that is related to all capsule machines, not only morning, is a relatively small used capsule drip base. I often forget to clean it in time and end up with water on the countertop. Having already many smart features, I can imagine a sensor could help with that too. Usually, when brewing coffee takes only a press of a button, Cleaning is neglected because it's not part of the routine. I like the machine often prompts releasing the coffee capsule and eventually also descaling. During the review, I learned about cleaning capsules to actually clean the brewing mechanism. Unfortunately, these were hard to buy in our region. A bypass mode that can dispense up to 200 milliliters of water in the temperature from 45 degrees Celsius 
to 95 degrees Celsius is an interesting feature that can potentially replace a need for a brewing kettle. Mobile apps connectivity is really good. The basic functionality of maintaining the recipe library and uploading new recipes to the machine works fine. I believe the UX can improve and that mobile app can open even more features in the future. Last thing, I think the user manual is one of the best I've seen and used. It's simple and straightforward. I found answers to all my questions and the instructions were easy to follow. Overall, I think the team at Morning did quite impressive job in building a machine that unlocks the potential of capsule brewing for specialty coffee market. As I see more interest from both consumers and specialty coffee roasters, I believe there will be more use cases and options in the future. It's still a niche market, but growing. Personally, I am eager to explore even more premium coffees packed in capsules. Like the first pot we tried in our studio from Savage Coffee. I was always scared to brew these precious lots myself. Now I can upload the recipe, press the button and enjoy. Now, what's your take on specialty coffee capsules and morning machine? Can you imagine using it? Do you have a use case for it? Let us know in the comments and I'm looking forward to see you in the next video very soon. Bye-bye.